How are you doing, YouTube? What are we going to be dipping today? Let's see what we want to dip today. Uh, we'll dip it some more straight. I just pulled a dip out from a while ago. It got out of flavor. We're going to be dipping some grizzly straight. If y'all can see that. Just like my hat says, get her straight. Get everything straight. Get your school life straight. Get your life straight. Get your dipping straight. I gotta get me a hat that says, get her wintergreen or get her, get her natural. <laughs> that sounds, that sounds good. Get her straight. Yeah. And that's what now we're gonna this video is we're gonna teach y'all what is the proper way to pack a can and what is the proper way to put a dip in yeah I just spit on my hand my spitter's a little off today still ain't got a mud jug yet I really want me to get me what an aller wrench good thing you found that I didn't put my sniper Anyway, back to this. How to pack a can. Like everybody else says, you want to take your finger like this, and you just want to. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but um, it's the easy pack. You can either pack it like this. And you just keep it at that angle. Or you'll mess your whole little packing thing up if you dip it like that. Keep it like that. There's another way you can do it. It's like this. I, I prefer that way. There's two ways you can do it. Now, when you put it in, there's a bunch of different ways you can put a dip in. You can be the wussy, which people begin to do this when they're beginners and don't know how to dip. Pull your lip down, put one in. Or you can take and grab, grab just a little bit here because I'm probably going to grab a little bit like that. All right. Man, that air keeps on blowing everything. Yeah, it's windy today. I got a jacket on too. Anyway, just come right here, put it in your mouth, pull your lip down, put it in your lip. That's one way you can do it. But you just move it and pack it down with your with your tongue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move that over to the side so I can get it open. Now another way you can do it, you take and get you a little bit and just put it in your mouth and then move it with your tongue over there. that weedier thing right there. See, I got my cousin Caleb right here. If you can't see him, I don't know what he wanted to talk about. What you want to talk about? He don't know. Hmm. He don't know. And that's how you do it. How you put your dip in, or you can put it in. All you do is just take a little piece of dip, put it in, hold your lid down, grab it. Yeah, poke it down with your tongue. Or you just put your whole dip in your mouth, lay it on your tongue, and move it where you want to move it. Y'all saw my little pill bottle last time in the video, How to Dip at School. I'm going to dip tomorrow. 
at school. I might take a video of it tomorrow. I don't know. Probably won't. But I will sometime or another. You remember that. Now, we got us some empty grizzly cans anywhere. Mm, I think I might know where one is. Grizzly pouch can, which is my uncle peanuts. Now we're going to show you how to get this. Just drop the can. Now we're going to show you how to get this can off. If we got some scissors in here, we need some scissors, some good scissors, not no gunky little scissors like a dummy. Mm. I don't really think my dad has scissors in here. I don't know either. We don't need them. Those ain't for cooking. Scissors at the house that'll do it, but I forgot to bring them. So, I got my scroll mint out right here. I'll just I'll just take them. Uh, I'll take and put them in my winter ring pack. I was gonna do it there in the end, my mint might taste start tasting like wintergreen. And my buddy might not like that tomorrow. So we ain't gonna talk about today <coughs> how the old days and the new days have changed. Cause I ain't really thought of nothing yet. Here we go. How have cutting down trees changed? Well, back in the age, old days, their chainsaws was just a regular saw. You had a long saw blade on it, and one person would pull, the other person would pull back. It takes a lot of time, a lot of hard work. Or they just cut it down with an axe if it was a small enough tree. Today, we still use axe, but we have, we have chainsaws. So and we have, yeah, we got a chainsaw in here somewhere. Under all this stuff, we got a chainsaw in here. My dad probably put it back there. Probably, but anyway. Sorry about my dipping in that. I need a mud jug. Like I said, I'm probably going to get a mud jug, but that's how it's changed. Nowadays, we have machines that actually got saw blades on them and machine cut them and all that. Which is like one of them, one of them tractors. It's got a, it's got a saw attachment to it. They can actually saw down trees and all that. But that's all for today, y'all. Hope y'all like it. Like, subscribe. Tell me what you like this video. Bye.